Now, as much as we love seeing all these Tata Nexon EVs around, and not many of the XUV 400s, I think this requires a definitive comparison. Here are the five things that I love about the XUV 400. The XUV 400 is based on the Sangyong Tivoli, and hence this has a very mature design language. This is the original design of the Sangyong Tivoli without the short cut made at the boot level. This is the full length car and it does look quite mature. The copper color treatment done on the XUV 400 looks much better than the anodized blue that we see on all electric Tata cars. Now, although we can associate that blue shade much better with electric cars, I feel the copper shade looks far better in terms of the visual appeal. And there are quite a lot of details that are better in the XUV 400 as well. The front cabin of the XUV 400 feels far superior in terms of ergonomics than the Tata, Nexon, EV and EV Max. To start off with, the screen is not poking out of the dashboard, hence it does not intrude into your sight when you're driving for long distance journeys. The touch screens over here, although it's a smaller size, but it does a job rather well. Your AC controls are nice and large and you have everything within the reach of the driver. Also, it has proper cup holders and not recessed into your slidable cubby space. Big bottle holders on the side as well and these seats are properly designed for you to be relaxed on a long distance journey or even when you're doing your trips around the city in start stop traffic. The side bolsters, the seat squabs and the seat base itself is made up of a very high quality leatherette which does make you feel very relaxed every day. Here in the back seat of the XUV 400, things are equally brilliant. Now, where this car has its advantage is in the headroom because this does not have that sloping roof line, which does not eat into the headroom of the rear cabin. And hence, a person who is six foot three as well would be pretty comfortable. The seat back recline angle, although a little upright over the Nexon EV, but the seat squabs, the side bolstering and the under thigh support is far superior than the Tata's. You have a central armrest over here with two cup holders. There are three headrests for all three passengers who can be fitted at the back. And there is quite a lot of knee room, a good amount of shoulder room as well for you to be comfortable even when you're chauffeured around. And the last part, of course, is the way it drives. <laughs> this is one of the most entertaining cars in its category. And I just love spending long hours in this. Mahindra has nailed its game with the XUV 400. What a brilliant piece of equipment this is.